So welcome back everyone. Today was Samsung's long awaited unpacked event where they actually demoed a lot of cool products. So they demoed the new Note, of course, that was a flagship device. They also demoed new tablet, new earbuds, new watch. Also, they demoed a new foldable device, which I, I can't wait. I think that's the one that I'm gonna pick. So if you didn't have three hours to waste today watching the full event, I'm gonna break it down in little segments for you. Let's start out with everything you need to know about the Note. So if you're new to the channel, I do everything tech from your streaming reviews, streaming news, product reviews, unboxings, and everything in between. Hit that subscribe button in the top right, smash the notification bell, make sure you select all on notification, that way you won't miss a video or a giveaway. So the first thing to know is that the Note came in two versions, guys. There's a Note 20 and a Note 20 Ultra. The Note 20 has a 6.7 inch screen while the Note 20 Ultra has a 6.9 inch screen, which is humongous. As far as the display, this is where we're gonna see some differences between the two. So the Note 20 maxes out at 60 Hertz and the Note 20 Ultra is gonna give you 120 Hertz. So if you guys haven't experienced the difference between those two, the higher the refresh rate, the smoother transitions you're gonna have. So swiping up and down or transitioning from screen to screen, it's gonna give you a more buttery feel to your device. As far as the speed and performance, what they're bragging is that this has the fastest chipset in a smartphone. So both of them should have the Snapdragon 865 Plus and with the new chipset, the fast charging allows you to get up to 50% in 30 minutes. Now as far as the cameras, it's gonna come with four total cameras. So you're gonna have one camera in the front. This is the selfie camera, of course, 10 megapixels with autofocus at f2.2 aperture. As far as the rear cameras, you're gonna have three. First is the ultra wide angle. This is gonna be 12 megapixel camera, f2.2 aperture. The wide angle camera, which is the one in the middle, it's gonna be 108 megapixel f1.8. And last but not least, the bottom camera is gonna be telephoto, and this is 12 megapixel at f3.0 at five times zoom. I should also mention that there's a laser autofocus sensor on the rear, and this will help you get better images. Now with a combination of the three cameras and the laser sensor in the rear, you should not only get crisp images when you're far away, but also you will see improved night performance. As far as the available colors, we're looking at the Mystic naming convention this year. So we have Mystic Bronx, Gray, White, Black, and Green. The S Pen, of course, is gonna be one of those things that you love or hate. I've always owned the Note series when it comes to Samsung phones, and this is one of the best features, I believe, of the Note series. So what used to happen is that there used to be a delay on the S Pen. So they've introduced a technology that actually predicts where you're gonna go next with your pen tip. So that essentially speeds up the process and gives you a more streamlined performance. With that improvement, in addition to the higher refresh rate, this will give you a great performance when using the S Pen. So two more things to note is that Samsung DeX is now wireless, so now you can easily project your phone onto a larger monitor or screen, and that will improve your multitasking capabilities. They've also launched a partnership with Xbox that essentially allows you to, to play your PC games and easily streamline that process, jumping from device to console. So definitely looking forward to that as well. Of course, both models are 5G compatible. The Note 20 costs $999. This is for the eight gig of RAM, 128 gig of storage. Uh, the Ultra is a little bit pricier, $1299 for the model. This would be 12 gig with 128 gigabyte storage. You can also upgrade the storage space to 512, which is gonna cost $14.99. And also important to note that expandable storage with an SD card is only available for the Note 20 Ultra. So if you buy the regular Note 20, you will be restricted to 128 gigs of storage. So the new Note, both versions are 5G and also the Samsung Fold, which I am falling in love with. Can't wait to get my hands on this one. As far as the battery capacity, we're looking at 4,300 milliamp hour, 25 watt charging, 45 for the Note 20 Ultra, and 45 for the Galaxy Fold. Both have the same processor. As far as RAM, you have 12 gig option for both the Note Ultra and the Galaxy Fold, but you don't have for the regular Note. Now, each has 5G compatibility. Here's a look at some of the camera specifications, and I'll go ahead and drop a link in the description where you guys can go ahead and check it out. So that's my quick overview of the new Galaxy Note. Let me know what you guys think. Let me know between these three phones, which one is more intriguing. I've had Notes in the past, but I think I'm more intrigued with the Galaxy Fold, and maybe I'll see if I can go ahead and pick one of those up. I will be doing a quick look at the Galaxy Fold as well as the new tablets, and of course, the new Samsung Galaxy Watch. That's it for this video. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe, and I'll catch you on the next one.